Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about uh, Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition and bringing Woke into your game correctly, okay? So let's talk about this. All right, so uh, how do we bring Woke into our Dungeons & Dragons games correctly? Well, first of all, I think the whole world is asking this question. We are asking it at you know for Dungeons & Dragons, and if you're not asking it, you're wrong. <laughs> and I, I will tell you that right now. Like, uh, you know, I know everybody like, I don't want that woke nonsense in my D&D game. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. All right. And I'm going to give it to you now. Why? Okay. First of all, woke is like, hey, let's make everything inclusive. Let's include everybody we can. Let's, um, you know, let's break from old habits that restricted what people could do. I'm for that, right? Like, I was, I'm super anti-slavery. That's why Lincoln is my number one president. You know, like, he ended slavery, right? So, like, you know, and that was woke, right? Like, you got to realize Lincoln was woke, right? Like, and a lot of people don't want to say that, but that's the, that is correct. That is the thing, right? So, here's the thing. I want to be woke, and, 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 and here's the thing. If you don't, if you don't want any woke in your game, you're flat out wrong, right? You need to bring woke into your game because there are some injustices that have been done by D&D in the past. And if you're not, you know, the way it depicted women in the beginning, um, you know, just as far as clothes and, you know, what they could do and what they couldn't, blah, 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 right? There's And, and also, you know, the, the, the clearest one is the design lead, right? There's never been anything but a, a white male for design lead for Dungeons and Dragons. Come on. Don't pretend that that is just. That's... That is ridiculous. Like to say, oh yeah, the best person to lead, uh, you know, Dungeons and Dragons design team lead for fifty years has been a white male and no one else. It's absurd, right? That's why I voted for Obama. I'm like, there's no way this country, the best person to be president, was a white male for two hundred years, right? You know, I'm like, this has got to end, right? So I did my part and I voted for Obama twice, right? We have to break injustices and we need to do this in our Dungeons and Dragons game. Now, here's the thing. I want my game to be woke in D&D, but I also don't want it to suck. And actually, this is for everything in life. I want to be woke, but I don't want it to suck, right? And that's where we're getting, that's where things get twisted is people are like, you're, we need to change this thing. We're going to make it woke and we're going to make it suck. No, you need to make it woke and you need to make it better, right? If this is real, if wokeness really is a better state, it should make things better, right? So like a, a perfect example of this, right, is the electric car, Right. I don't drive electric, and I never will, because it sucks, right? Like, I could get in my my gas car and drive to New York and drive back and know it's going to get me there, right? I don't I don't need to wonder where I can plug my car in, right? It's it's just better, right? So it's not woke, but it doesn't suck, right? And that's what we need to avoid. We cannot bring electric cars into our D&D. We can't bring in woke things that suck, right? We need woke things that rock, right? Now, what are woke things that rock? They are not many of them. I'm going to admit to you, right? The path to woke and rock is is hard, right? But right now, there's a perfect example we need to pay pay very close attention to, so that we can make our our D and D games woke and rock and roll, right? Now, what is the current best example? Boy, I'm telling you, you got to get yourself over to what if. Um, what if Captain Carter over on Disney Plus? It is amazing, right? And it is the best example of woke and rock and roll that I have ever woke and not suck that I have ever seen in my life, right? So, uh, spoilers for what if Captain Carter, all right? So, basically, what if Captain Carter like completely destroys Captain America, right? It, Captain America never exists in the what if Captain Carter, right? America is stripped out. Steve Rogers is stripped out, right? I should hate this. I love it, right? Because it's woke and it rocks, right? How does it rock? First of all, the art is unbelievable. The story moves like a rocket, right? It just moves so fast. And Captain Carter is kick butt, right? But here's the kicker, right? Steve Rogers, right, is is remains in his weak shriveled body right and but his spirit is still indomitable and what happens is is steve rogers is taken and he is put into the iron man armor and so steve rogers becomes usa you know green army iron man and it is amazing right 
So woke suck, right? Masters of Universe, Universe Revelation, right? White man can only exist on the screen for a few moments, and then he must be a ghost, a memory, or an imposter, right? And then same issue, right? Strong white male, right? In uh, Disney Plus, and they're saying, no, there's a place for you here. You're a human being. You get treated with respect. There's something for you to do here, right? Woke and rock, right? Two different things. So as we go forward, here's here's a kicker, right? What should we be dealing with with woke? Who's at the table? Who's at your table? If you have a bunch of white males at your table and nobody else, you need to change that. You need to reach out and make sure you are inviting females into the game. Make sure you are inviting trans into the game. Make sure you are inviting you are that your game is inclusive. If you if you think it's just a uh, like a coincidence that your game is all white males and you have not invited others. Now, if you've invited others and they've said no and you gave a genuine effort, you don't need to feel guilty about that, right? But if you have never invited uh, you know, females into your game, if you have never invited people of different races into your game, if you've never invited trans into your game, you got a problem and that needs to get fixed, right? But the flip goes as well. If you have a game that is all trans, all female, you really need to think twice about this. And that's what I learned from What If Captain Carter, right? Everybody gets a seat at the table. Granted, white males, strong white, all white males have had a good time for a lot of centuries. But that doesn't mean the fix is to leave them out in the cold, right? To let them only exist as memories, ghosts, and imposters, right? The way Masters of the Universe dealt with Adam and with He-Man, killing him twice in the in this story, right? So that that's the point is, make sure that no matter what your group is, if there's some group, if there's somebody that you are specifically excluding, that's not right, right? It's not right to exclude uh, uh, other genders. If you have an all-female game, you really need to think twice and consider bringing in a male. If you have an all-male game, you definitely need to consider bringing in fe- females and make those invitations. If you have just one ethnicity, you should really consider, uh, you know, um, inviting others in. And if you and if that seems repugnant to you, you need to check your heart and mind because there might be a, you know, an ugly monster there, right? And that's okay. That's okay if if it's there. You know why? We play D and D. What do we do? We slay monsters, right? We take them out, right? And that's okay. So like, if you if you're in a position where you've had some pretty repugnant uh, opinions about people for a long time, you know. It was wrong to be there then, but, you know, tell yourself it's okay now because you can fix it, right? Like, you can move forward and fix it. Of course, it's never really okay to do those things. You know, there should be a a price to pay. If that's just simply some reflection and some sadness in your heart, if it's more than that, maybe you have some ways to fix those things, but we, we really need to think very carefully from this. And if you are a dungeon master, if you are, this is every dungeon master content this is every dungeon player content if you play Dungeons and dragons fifth edition get yourself to disney plus there is a hard lesson being taught by what if captain carter it is amazing and i think it's it's lesson stands for everybody that's my opinion i'd love to hear your thought what do you think about um the makeup of your table and how to fix it if it needs to be fixed I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.